Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here. Ah, it is that time of year again. The holiday movies. I always like this, uh, this time of year. There, especially, like, when it comes to these films being in the horror vein. I don't know, there's just something comforting and warm about it. You know, like, those silly, stupid, cringy Christmas parody movies or over-the-top Christmas horror comedies or horror slashers that most of them actually just kind of become cult classics. But I'm going to be completely straight with you guys. I did not plan on seeing this movie. I heard the title, got the reference, but I wasn't planning on seeing this. Nope, I was planning on seeing Dream Scenario today, which I didn't know this, but the film only had a limited release today. Doesn't come out till come out wide until November 22nd, with a million other movies I want to see, so, I mean, that's fucking great. So I was looking at Showtimes for other stuff to see, and all I knew is that I wouldn't see the Marvels, so when I saw It's a Wonderful Knife, I was like, that's gonna be a horror comedy, isn't it? And then I looked it up, and I'm like, oh, it's a horror comedy. So, I didn't see the chart for this movie, all I knew is that it had Justin Long in it, which I'm like, okay, cool, he's probably gonna get his eyes gouged out, and that it was like an 80-something minute slasher, a, a parody of the Christmas comedy, or the Christmas classic, It's a Wonderful Life, and it was from Shudder and ROJE, which I'm like, okay, I usually see their movies anyway, it's a collaboration of studios that I generally like. Now, I am also gonna state, I never saw It's a Wonderful Life, <laughs> it's just one of those, like, old Christmas classics, it's like over two fucking hours, I looked it up, and it's just not my thing. But some fucking how, I have this movie on, on Blu-ray and VHS. How did I get these? Just some context needed, but I went up, went into this film completely blind. Uh, I don't have too much to say about it, but I am going to spell my thoughts about it. So, right off the bat, Justin Long in this movie, probably the most eccentric, off-putting, bizarre role he's ever done. Everything from his character to his accent. You'd be safe now. It was just one of those things that was so bizarre and it just hit me so weird that all I could think about was, okay, well, this movie's 80 minutes long and this is what we have from Justin Long. We'll see what we get out of this. And it's also one of those things that even knowing that Justin Long was going to be in this, going into it and him being kind of like like someone who's very known in the horror community i i just couldn't really accept that it was him i had to really practice that and i think it's just because it is so off-putting in every wrong way <laughs> but i wouldn't call it bad per se because it's not like i wasn't entertained it was just wrong it was just very unexpected and same thing with the comedy here it's not bad it's just very goofy, very uncomfortable, to, like, kind of like par for the course of what you would expect to some degree with a film like this. The best thing I can say up to this point, which is also coincidentally about the time that the movie starts getting into its, like, more selling point, is that it's tolerable. These aren't the best characters, but they're not the worst. Same thing with the comedy, same thing with the story, and even off of like what you're expecting from this movie's like how it's being marketed and what it's kind of like selling it still just is kind of flat which we will get into what i think it is in this movie's case is that it's one of those things where you can see and respect what it wants to do what it's trying to do it's one of those things where while you're watching it and after you leave you're like okay well that was just 80 minutes of my life that I won't get back. It's not necessarily anything that you regret. It's just, you kind of going into this film, okay, well, this is an 80 minute Christmas horror comedy parody slasher, whatever. The things in this movie, they aren't necessarily stupid. Like the characters, the writing, the, the story, the comedy, it's not necessarily stupid. It's just not that memorable or effective. And even when it comes to those scenes, it's, it's kind of that case where you kind of go in to this film with, with, with the experience and knowledge of like these low budget B-movie Christmas comedy horror whatever films that 
you know when when certain scenes are coming up, like when certain scenes are happening, it's that thing where you're like, okay, that is supposed to be more of a standout. That is supposed to be more like climatic or effective per se. But the problem with this movie specifically is its budget, its tone. There are times where admittedly it is like there are sequences of fun nonsense, but with this specific film, it's one of those things where it's just kind of fun in the moment. It's just doing enough, like I said, to be tolerable. It's not anything standout-ish. It's not anything effective or memorable, but it's not really bad or like overly stupid. And going back into the whole idea of it's just like enough in the moment, it's that thing where you just feel like this isn't going to be a type of movie that is going to do too much or maybe just can't do too much. The bottom line is that this is a movie where you are solely just watching it based off of what you could possibly imagine or expect out of it. And even like going into it without knowing too much, it just wears kind of like on its sleeve how much it may want to actually offer. And again, I say want because the things in this movie, they're just kind of that thing where they just do enough. They do their thing when it's time for that to be done. And the film just kind of, you know, washes it and washes their hands free of it and goes to the next thing. With saying this, though, I think the movie at least can be enjoyable, like, at least for the time being. Sure, this may not be, like, a regular yearly, like, Christmas time rewatch, but it's one of those things where the things in the movie, they're tolerable and they're fine enough and they work to an extent enough in the moment to make this film just, its again, it's one of those things where you're just killing time for 80 minutes and, you know, I mean, what did you kind of expect? But one thing I do want to say is that when it gets to the point in the movie where it's centering on its main idea where this girl, like, doesn't want to be born, because basically the plot of this movie is that, just to narrow it down very quickly, this girl witnesses a murder on Christmas and then, like, sometime later, Something goes on in her life where she just kind of had it and she wishes that she had never been born and the whole like Idea of this movie is that she goes to like a different dimension and sees what Life would have been like if she had never witnessed that murder and all I'm gonna say is that The writing here. It's not even just cliche. It's just fucking corny where you could see like what it's aiming for and how it could land but it just leans too far into the extent of just dumb rather than like self-aware dumb. And it's kind of odd because up to this point, I was giving, like I, I could have given most things up to this point a pass. And for how the pacing was going, this just didn't seem like a difficult lane for this movie to kind of like segue into. But while the movie had already kind of like gotten into that zone, it just felt like they were just kind of rushing it and just tr like wanted to get it there. Like maybe they just felt like they spent too much time on everything up to this point. But again, most of that stuff leading up to this, I could have given a pass to. But what I will say is that when this aspect of the film is actually active and we're seeing some like crucial detail to this, I think that the writing has the right charm for that. And it makes the whole like idea or like thought of it actually pretty fun and engaging and even like reflective based off of everything that we've gotten up to this point. But it's just the writing in the gaps that feel just so stupid and throwaway. And it's just kind of interesting because it's actually kind of ass backwards as far as like how films in this vein usually go. Where in this film's case, the things that you would expect to be like the most difficult for the filmmakers to tackle or like the things that wouldn't land the best they not only did pretty good but they actually kind of did it seemingly effortlessly where it's just the filler and like the gaps in between everything that just didn't make it fit so well or like just didn't land that well but a couple of solid things i can say about this movie is that the tone of it the whole like color grading of this movie it looks very cold it's got this like bluish wintry like color grading, but also something that was pretty interesting interesting is that the main character, she's wearing this red outfit 
And I just thought that that was a good, like, approach to kind of make her character stand out more, to make you have the most focus on her character. But another thing that is not just fun enough, but it's actually pretty solid and effective, which is the horror in this film. The kills in this movie, they're not that original, but they're well executed, they're well performed, they're well shot, and they're just well taken care of as a slasher film. The bullshit is that the writing in this movie, it's just so ineffective, so cliche, so uninteresting, and again, this is only an 80 minute film, this is very short, and the biggest amount of bullshit is that the horror in this film, there's actually not a lot of it. And even like most way through the film, I would have said the same thing as the kills. When they're happening, you're like, yes, finally, this is good, this is what we wanted. But then it just, the rest of the film in between that is so boring and slow and the filler just more than anything kind of drags. And that's sadly what most of the movies focuses on. And in between these gooder parts of the film, like when the movie starts addressing its manner plot and when the horror is actually taking place, the movie just, just not a lot goes on in this film. And it's just kind of lame and bullshit how out of a short runtime like this, how well they did with the more difficult and important things when they were there and how much of a waste the movie was otherwise. And I'll give this film a mixed review. You'll be safe now. You gotta remember that ending though. Out of the whole film, this has the most memorable shit. It's got some of the most goofy writing, the most like ridiculous conclusion and comedy, and even goes to lengths where I'm just like, okay, I don't know how or if this could possibly relate to the movie it's parodying, but it just kind of fucking lost me in a really stupid but entertaining way. I mean, I'm not gonna say that this was a bad movie. It was entertaining enough and had some fun enough things and, you know, equally throwaway shit where I was just like, one way or another, yeah, this is kind of what I was expecting and it's only 80 minutes worth of my time. But this is not a film that I'm gonna add to, like, my annual watch around Christmas time. If the theaters in your city got dream scenario, definitely go see that. But with all that being said, guys, that is gonna be my thoughts on It's a Wonderful Knife. This is a Shudder film. It should be coming to Shudder pretty soon. This just doesn't seem like a film that's gonna be in theaters too long so if anything just wait for it to come to shutter but with all that being said guys that is going to be my thoughts on it is a wonderful knife uh i don't know what my next reveal review will be there is a lot of films coming out starting next week and the strike is over we should be getting a lot more trailers which we have already gotten a lot of fucking trailers so after this video just We'll see what we get next. There is definitely going to be some content coming this week. But with all that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.